Hello there, namaste. So this is the trailer for Bridgerton season three. I've seen the first two seasons. I did enjoy season one. Season two, I didn't care for as much just because, I don't know, it just felt off. There was something about it that just didn't sit well with me. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to end up checking out season three, but whatever. <laughs> Dearest, gentle reader, we have been apart for far too long. Hey, it looks like she's lost weight. Good for her. Good for her. It's great to be healthy. It's always, you always feel better. As if you can tell, I've kind of lost some weight. It's good to be healthy. You feel better. You have more energy. Yeah, you, it, it just, it's just good. Good for her. Good for her. At last, London's fashionable set has made its return. And it seems that our bon ton is moving with the changing tide. So, too, is this author. I cannot live at home any longer. I must take a husband. Does my lady have a suitor in mind? Is that her brother? Colin. Brother, under what foreign sun did you apparently get so sturdy? <laughs> oh, it is good to see you. Is it? Something wrong. Seems as though every Bridgerton was born to attract notice. For some of us, the notice is very slight. If a husband is what you seek, let me help you. Are we not friends? Friends. I should like to see your skills as they are first. How delightful to see you. Oh my gosh. See, the, what made it so great is you knew who she was. She grew up, And now it's basically about her being the awkward female being taught by the the guy that she has had a crush on her entire life basically oh my gosh you you, you. what was great was all the little dirt of what was going on in that little town all the little snippets of all the trash that was the great part not the fact that ish, oh, i think i think they missed the mark on this this show they definitely missed the mark you all the splendid weather we are having I would not be angry if I am to be a lost cause. You must not say such things. You are Penelope Featherington. Do not forget that. She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Since when are you worried about Penelope? Oh, yeah. oh. You would think she'd be able to find happiness in herself. She seems to have lost her friend. Yeah, her friend has found another gal to hang around with because her, her friend is not interested in the opposite sex. So she, she found another gal pal. And now she's completely alone. And now it's basically about her... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of wish they would have saved the spilling of who she was till... I don't know. Down the road. It's like you constantly would have this hunt going on during the series, which would keep it interesting. And then you find out at the very end, she's the one that was shunted to the side. The one who was, you know, not never received love, even though she's loved someone from afar. I, I really think they missed the mark on this show. I really think that they're just, now they're just going to go the comedic route. What this author knows to be true is that diamonds are not the only gems that sparkle. Lord Debling, he is eager to take a wife this season. You look especially beautiful tonight, Miss Featherington. You have done very well, Penelope. What more could you want? Do you believe the best foundation for love is friendship? It is rare, but you must follow your heart. Well, there is, that's the thing. There is, uh, I paused it right on the perfect spot for you ladies. He's, he's popping up with his shirt almost completely off. Yeah, I mean, there is truth to that. You have to be able to, well, again, I believe in being able to communicate, being able to, you know form an attachment with someone so it is great that he sees that you know being able to know the person so it is trying to do like the the lesson of it you know trying to teach and be knowledgeable about you know just just form an attachment with someone as long as you can have an attachment with someone 
you can make it grow instead of having some stranger move into your life and then you work on it you they're just like in the last season where uh the brother had only an interest in the older sister of the girl he was courting that sounds so wrong that sounds so wrong but yeah yeah i mean <sighs> There is a message, I guess, but at the same time, I feel like they missed the mark. I wish it would have been like this interesting hunt. There's this tragic story of the love that got away, that she had always cared for this person. You always see them in the background. You would always focus around every family member, and she would always be there. And at the very end, after every single sibling got married, paired off, that which is there's seven siblings, so it's like or there would be the sisters that really are the focus. But yeah, the seven siblings. After they all got got married, you realize it was her at the very end. You know, something like that. And then it does, like, all these flashbacks throughout the entire series. You know, keep people guessing. You know, you would have those people trying to break down the series. But now everyone knows what's going on. There's no, like, all right, who could be the one, the Whistledown, Lady Whistledown? Who could be the... There's no need for any of that. Everyone knows who Lady Whistledown is. Gosh. the What could have been? What could have been? What is the primary force that guides us along our paths? Penelope. Is it our minds or our hearts? Okay. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Again, I liked it in the start. I liked season one. Yes, the, the I, don't, I don't. I know some people have issues with it, but. I don't I don't care about the the time period. It, it's it's all fictional. The whole thing's fictional. So I'm okay with with it being fictional. But it's like it was it was fun to watch cuz you learn about Lady Whistledown, you have all this knowledge and then season 2 comes out and you already know who Lady Whistledown is at that point in time. And then you're following this weird relationship like I mentioned, the brother who only has interest in the older sister of the younger sister he is courting. I mean, it just sounds wrong when you say that. Because he's courting the younger sister, but is only attracted to the older sister. Oh, it's just, just messed up. Just messed up. But yeah, um, it, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they missed the mark. And here it just seems like she's they're spending time together. They're bonding. But she's making a fool of herself in front of everyone. But he doesn't mind because he spent time getting to know her throughout his life. So... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get around to watching it, but it is, it is nice to see that they're still trying to make these. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.